Anyway, I'll get started, I'll stop yapping off and uh, we'll get these horses in. I'm going to put my whip just aside there. These horses haven't been floated for a long time. So, I'm just going to set it up here so that I can do one at a time. Alright, so, I'm just going to control this space here and I'm going to ask the horse to go forward. And I'm going to ask it to go around and just walk into the float. Now having done that, normally, um, I'll just throw this on there, over the back. I'll show you what we do with the rope in a minute. Now I'll ask the other horse to go off. Now, for some people they'll say, what's the big deal about that? Every horse does that. Well, the reality is no, every horse doesn't do that. Um, and that, especially, we get asked to come and help people who are struggling with their horses in float loading. Sometimes they're scrambling, all sorts of things. And um, as I said, I want my horses to walk on like that. I don't want to get in there with the horse. So that's how we train them. And we expect them then just to stand there. And I don't need the huge breaching gates and I don't need to use a centre divider. My thoughts about breaching gates and centre dividers, uh, you can look at on the website, but just quickly, I think they're a waste of time and they cause so much uh, trouble for horses and also they, run, they cause uh, or compromise the handler's safety, especially breach gates. So I don't want to be anywhere where I could get hurt and certainly for the horse, I mean if a horse happened to go down to the float, the last thing you want in there really is a uh, centre divider. So the horses travel very comfortably without them, there's no problem at all. What I do recommend though is that you have a head divider, okay? Anyway, we're going to go up, put the, the gate up now, and what we want to do is be at the side, because if a horse did come out, you want to keep yourself safe. So we'll put the, the side here, use your legs, and just lock it up. Now, um, I'm not going to bother doing the other side at the moment. Now what I would do, I don't tie the horses up while the tailgate's down. We'll get the tailgate up and then I'll go and tie them up and it's really just about them not turning around, which if you've got two big horses like this is, is near impossible anyway. But the procedure then, once we've travelled, is to go into the float and drop the rope down on the floor in between the chest rail and the horse, especially with long ropes so that when the horse comes out it can trail and if you're outside you can just easily pick it up uh, without the horse bugging off or doing anything like that. So I'm, go I'm going to go in the float now very quickly and I'm just going to put the rope down in front and then I'll come and get the horses out. Okay, I want to make sure the horses are settled first. If they weren't, I'd just pat them. I wouldn't put the tailgate down until they have actually settled. If you train them this way, you usually don't have those sorts of problems anyway. But now, I'd undo that side, then I'd come over here. Simply because I'm left-handed, it's e right-handed, it's easier for me to operate this side. And then just straight down with the tailgate, keep myself at the side. The horse is coming out. That's fine. It's going to trail the rope, so I can just pick the rope up. I'll get it out of the way. Now the other horse is more reluctant to come out. I'm going to try and ask. Back, back. If it doesn't, I'm not going to lift its tail up or do anything like that, because I'd rather the horse be like that. Uh, but what I want to do here, I'm going to go in and get it. I'm going to keep myself safe by putting my hand there first standing here and coming in. Then I'm going to give the horse a clear signal to come back. Back, 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 back. And I'm going to help it to back out straight. Back, back. So, now that horse, this one that's just come out, is the youngest. Um, 
hasn't had many floating experiences and um, so going in and just helping it out like that just gives it the confidence to come out because I find a lot of horses actually are scared of coming out than they are actually going in. Okay now I'm going to let one of these horses go and I'm just going to load one uh, horse by itself. Okay so off you go.